How to guarantee that events are published, liberating events with the Outbox pattern. In this video, I will explain what is the database first Outbox table pattern, and then I will explain how it guarantees that events are published. So first, what is the Outbox pattern? It is when a request or the event processor performs this database transaction operation, but does not publish the occurred event afterwards. Instead, during a database transaction, a record or multiple records are inserted into a dedicated database table, the outbox table, which holds the records which you want to publish to a specific event stream, and in another process, publishes them later. And so, that is the outbox pattern. Now, on to the important points. First, the outbox pattern guarantees at least once event publishing because of the nature of atomic database transactions, the records get inserted into the outbox as part of the same database transaction that is performing the operation against the main entity tables. It guarantees that the operations will be successful after the transaction finishes or nothing will have changed, ensuring data integrity. However, at least once event publishing means that the publisher could publish the same event more than once downstream, causing downstream processors to receive the event more than once. Hence, downstream consumers need to ensure they are item potent and don't reprocess events or if process again, there are no harmful side effects. And another benefit of the outbox table pattern is the outbox record event does not need to be a one-to-one -one mapping. Instead, the event can be a consolidation of the values across relationships of an object across multiple tables. Denormalizing the event's data will improve the performance of downstream consumers if they require information about the context of the event, which means that downstream services won't need to look up relationship data or consume multiple event streams to get the complete picture. Now, when it comes to publishing events, the order in which events are published to an event stream is very important. So bear in mind that an outbox table would require the record to be inserted with an incremental sequence ID or a created timestamp or both. And also remember and take into consideration that an outbox table will increase the amount of data stored within a database and the service which is published in the events will increase the load on the database. Okay, so great. So how do we get the events out of the database and liberate those events? Well, there are a couple of approaches. The most reliable and efficient way to do this is by using a technique called change data capture. Most databases write every insert, update and delete operation to a transaction log or what some call an append log, which is used by the database in case of failure when it needs to recover. Now, how do you use the change data capture to liberate events from the database? Well, if you're using Apache Kafka as your platform, then you can use Kafka Connect or open source tools. Okay, suppose you are running a native cloud database. Then for example, if you're using one of the AWS databases, you can trigger Lambda functions after a database operation completes. Or if the database is not cloud native, but is running in AWS, you can use, for example, AWS Data Migration Service to publish the events. However, if you can't use the methods I've stated, then you can develop a service which polls the table for new records and then publishes the events. Now, I've done this several times in my career, but it is complex to scale. And at the end of the day, you are simply polling the database. So it becomes a balancing act between finding the intervals to poll so that you don't end up polling before the last poll has finished and publishing events multiple times. Okay, so in summary, the key takeaway here is that storing events in the database first and then having another process publish the events gives you at least once event publishing guarantee. And using the outbox approach gives you more control over what gets published. It is an excellent tool that I have used to turn an existing legacy system into an event driven one. And I highly recommend it. Now, Watch the video about the writer side pattern or the video where I compare event streams and message brokers.